Hello, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to replace the rear discs and rear brake pads on the 2.2 XF Jaguar 2013. The first thing you do is loosen your wheel nuts off, jack the car up, put some axle stands under the back so it's safe. Make sure your electric handbrake is off. You don't want the handbrake on. Make sure it's off. Then you go under the bonnet. And you... Right, the next thing is you remove this cover. Unscrew the cap on your reservoir, brake reservoir fluid. And that's it basically. Now you can take the wheels off. Right, the next thing you do is undo all your wheel nuts and pop your wheel off. And then you can slide that probably underneath the car. I've jacked up the car so both wheels are off the ground, but you can do one side at a time. Uh, next thing we're going to do, we're going to remove the caliper, then the back plate, and then the disc. We'll replace the disc. If you're just replacing the brake pads, then obviously you just have to remove the caliper, you don't have to remove the base plate. Right, to remove the caliper you've got two rubber plugs, you've got one here and you've got one on the bottom of the caliper. Okay, you remove those, you put your removing tool in the back of the that rubber, because the bolt is inside, and you put your socket on and you undo it. Uh, that's the top one, and then we do the bottom one. Now you need to remove your retaining spring off your caliper that retains your caliper on. And you can just lever that off with a screwdriver. That. And now your caliper is ready to come off. Now your caliper you can just lever off. I actually put an axle stand there to um, to support the caliper when it is off. Okay, there's your caliper off. Just pull it under the axle stand. Easy brake pads. Fairly worn. They come out. Remember how they go back in. Now what we've got to do is we move this back support bracket here, which supports the caliper. You've got two bolts, one at the top and one at the bottom. So we've got to get that off to remove the disc. Right, the bolts on the back here are 15 millimeter. So you put a socket on there. Fairly tight, but they come off. And 
as the bolts will do the same on the bottom. So the bolt goes through the support at the back and bolts into there, like so. Now your disc is ready to come off. The disc is held on by two clips. It Maybe it may not depend if someone's had it on before. Had it off before, I should say. And these clips should pull off like so. Screw them. I only press on clips, spring clips, and if you get them off far enough. Okay, just take those off. So two spring clips, all they do is hold this in position. That's all they do, they don't, the actual wheel holds the disc on properly. So then you just take your disc off. And that's it, that's your disc off. Okay, now what you want to do is just clean this hub off so that there's no bits of rust, do it with a wire brush, so on and so forth. And get in there with the spray just so the disc fits nice and flat up against it. Just clean those bits out with a bit of paper just on the insides here. Okay, once you've cleaned that off, put the disc back on, your new disc, like so. You can put your clips, you should really get new clips, but I haven't got any at the moment, so I'm just going to uh, take Okay, you can pop the clips back on. I just use the socket over it and pop them back on. It just holds the disc in place so you can put your caliper and everything back on. Now we put the back plate back on, which goes on that way. So drop that in place. Tighten these bolts up to the correct torque setting.
Right, now to put your new brake pads on, we're going to have to screw this cylinder back into the caliper. Okay, this is the tool. You don't need a complete box like this. This is for obviously several different cars. You just need one that does a Jaguar if you don't want to buy the complete kit, although this came from eBay. They can't really, it, it, it doesn't use a lot of pressure or stress on the tool, so it doesn't matter if you get a cheap eBay one or not. You don't need to spend out a lot of money. That fits into there. You've got your two studs sticking out, fits into the two holes on the piston. And then you put this piece, goes over the top, down, like so. Put the round edge here. Uh, thread these two studs into the two holes there. Like so. Then you do this up so it's tight. It brings that plate back up on, onto that, supports it, so you've got something to screw on. Then you literally turn this and it will screw the piston back into the caliper. It's that easy. Boom, that's it done. That's the piston screwed back in. And you can undo this, open that off. Take that out. Take the cap out as well. Put that down. And you can fit your two pads, like so. And your caliper will fit over there. Always remember to clean all these pieces out first. Just clean around the calipers and bits and pieces. Might have to push the bolt back a little bit to go in. Okay, we put this back on. This is an Allen key by the way. I can't find the Allen key I was using with the socket. Basically, okay, that's the caliper bolted back on. Put the two caps, remember, back into position. Dust covers basically for the bolt, and all you've got to do is put this one spring on. It basically, goes on. Like so. Okay, now just pump the brakes gradually so you take up the slack on the caliper, which is there. Okay, pop your spring back on and then you can put your wheel back on and that's the job done on this side. Put the wheel back on, bolt it up. Okay, this side is pretty much a mirror image. Take your wheel off, take two caps off your pieces there. Put your Allen key in if you've just got an Allen key. I don't know what sort of tools you've got. Let's undo it. Same in the bottom one. Take the pressure off. And 
just undo them. Okay, on this side, which is the driver's side, on a right-hand drive car, UK car, um, you have the wear sensor, which you unplug from up here, on top of the rear axle cage. Take that off, it unplugs off of all the pieces down here, and then it'll pull out with the Something to put a little bit of a clip on there. That should just pull out then. Like so. Okay, we put that piece from your brake winding kit in there. We put that piece over here like so the curb bit again goes in underneath there those two studs go in there right. and this you unscrew Centre bit here. It's a bit awkward to hold that and do it at the same time. But I'm unscrewing this centre bit here. Which brings that plate wedged behind there. Just nip it up and then you screw it in clockwise, and that will screw your piston back into your cylinder. And once you've done that, just take it off. Now if it comes and take your tool out, that's that. Now, <coughs> when you're replacing your it's always best to fit a new one, it's not worth messing about with. Get this man of right on here, look. When you're replacing your wear sensor, remember which way it goes. It goes in that way, pointing outwards. Okay, so what you do is you take your spring out, like that. You press your wear sensor into your spring. And then this little lip here goes in between the coils of the spring and then you press it in. Like so. Then that is in. Okay, that's exactly the same as the old one. Take your spring washers off, clips. Pull your disc off. Don't forget you've got to clean your hub up, just give it a good clean up wire brush off and also just clean your bits and your caliper off. Once you've cleaned your hub off, you can put your disc back on or your new disc on. Put your spring clips, you should really replace these but I don't happen to have them. I'll put a little socket over it and push them back on. lot easier to put back on. As I say those clips are only to hold it in place to make it ease of working. They don't actually hold the disc on the wheel does that and the wheel nuts. So do it on there. These are coated these discs by the way. 
and that coating you don't have to try and get it off it will wear off as you break and it will keep the rest sort of helps it stop or stops it from going rusty too quickly okay now we've got to do is put our back plate back on two screws in it as I say clean this this all up and uh, so I'll put that I'll do that and then put the back plate on okay now we're going to thread the wear sensor through the wire through the caliper then we're going to place that in place that comes down put the other pad on this side in place remember to have cleaned all this up the caliper back on right now you can thread your wear sensor cable through up here it's got all the clips on it for it to clip in this is in there one in there in there and this one goes around here and where are we okay let's plug back in there so that's basically the disc fitted the brake pads fitted the wear sensor fitted and all I've got to do is pump the brakes to take up the slack and then put the wheel back on oh I've got to put this um, back on as well all right just got to Nip the wheel nuts up. Okay, the wheels are on and tightened up. The wheel nuts. Uh, next, the last job you have to do is put your brake reservoir cap back on. Tighten that up. Put your flat back on. And then that's the job finished. I hope it's uh, been of help to you. Thank you for watching.